If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. God, time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.40 a.m. Oh, I've been working since 8 a.m. I don't feel like working no more. Baby, you wanna go out to eat? Sure. Alexa, turn my lights off. Okay. Yeah. What's up, y'all? So I know y'all could get valet, you know what I'm saying? You can go out to eat, get valet. That's cute. But can you do it anytime you want to? You dig what I'm saying? He about to open the door for you, baby. <laughs> Good, how are you? See y'all, I know y'all can go eat out wherever you please, right? But the question is, do you get paid for it? Do you get paid to live this lifestyle you wanna live? Cause I do. This meal is about to cost me about $200. I'm gonna get it back. That's the whole point. Get that check and get it right back. Need that. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Ah, let's taste the steak. Mm. Oh, look at that. You can just dive right in. Let me uh, dip it over in. I'm gonna dip it over in. Mm. 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 Now let's not get anything misconstrued. Before I did any of that, I had to wake up early. I had to read a book to make sure I get my mind ready for the day. I had to meditate. I had to work out. I had to make sure I was prepared for the day also so I could prepare for my night when I live stream for y'all as well. Y'all listen, I'm not going to keep you long, but I want you to know that I'm starting Crown Creators Academy March 17th. That is the day that your lives can change. I just need you to sign up and hear me out. You dig what I'm saying? All I need is you. All I need is you. I got enough up here to <clears throat> supply you with whatever it is you need. Just give me a chance. I love y'all, man. See y'all March 17th. That's why all I want is you. Listen, I need you, friend. Crowncreatorsacademy.com. All you got to do is subscribe for now, y'all. The, the website is dropping Friday. I have so many people asking me, like, how much money do I need to have? All that. Y'all, the website dropping Friday. And when it drops. You're going to know exactly what you need to pay for, where you need to go, what you need to do. I promise. Ah, it's just up and it's stuck. You dig what I'm saying? Crowdcreatorsacademy.com. Make sure you tap in. For now, it is absolutely free to just subscribe. Just subscribe to the website, y'all. I'm going to be sending y'all emails about everything that we're going to be doing. Just tap in. You dig? But listen. <sighs> King has responded to his manipulative baby mama okay so we about to that was his title because don't come for me boy y'all neat fan boy. Uh, i be like uh, god let me get into the video let me you know what i'm saying at least say how i feel change my mind about how i'm feeling whatever y'all don't like when nobody say nothing bad about your favorite youtuber they ain't always innocent jesus christ y'all don't say nothing when i say something bad about king though no. you ain't right all right let me get on the head of the phones and let get it. You know what you're doing, bro. I got my, my fault, y'all. I had to tap in a little bit. I was getting to the money, forgot to call you back. I had to switch I don't numbers know who on the did this, but if you level. did this intro, can you please DM me? Oh, they was extra where you went. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, song by Artistic. All right, I want to come to y'all because I seen the video, I saw her video. She's very good at manipulating the whole situation, making things fit into her favor, make somebody seem like they crazy or this, then, the third. When from the jump, bro, does really start what I'm saying? Like, this all happened and all spoke about. Because also, before we even get into this, I want y'all to know that, um, I am dating a woman who has two children, especially for those that don't know. And um, she obviously has a father. You know, her children have a father as well. So I had to deal with a couple things. We had to deal with a couple things. I want y'all to know I'm speaking from experience and not what I think it should be. Like, oh, if I was, if that was, if that was me, it's not if that was me. It's, it's me. 
You know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to know the way that. she delivered what she said and got posted on the shade room, which is the shade room. So 11, 11 said, in the it chat. has to be shady towards what me, what, towards me. You always do this backwards and forth. And I feel like I said what I said once before about his school being here or there, or he got me for the weekend and he go with you. It wasn't a problem. But as soon as you said in the shadiness and the energy that you portrayed out there, it was like, it's a problem. Plus, what I'm dealing with you off camera in the messages and how you really is and how you disrespectful and how you just make it so hard for me to really co-parent with you, bro. Like, All right, I want y'all to know that I stand on what I said. Bless you. She was being shady, y'all. And, you know, her being shady got to the... That's why I got to the internet. It would be okay if um Meek would be shady and stand on that shit. Like, yeah, I was being shady because... I ain't get no help, and you know, allegedly, I ain't get no help with this, and he ain't doing this and that. If if Neek stand on the shade, girl, I wouldn't. I'll be like, what well, shit? She said what she said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Neek be like, I don't know why he thinks I'm trying to be shady because you are a friend. You being shady, so I want y'all to know it wasn't about her telling the truth. She is absolutely okay. She's she can tell whatever truth that she has in her body let that shit out tell your truth i do it all the time but i stand on my shit <laughs> y'all be like damn nick you just gonna say that yeah yeah i am Mm -hmm. because that's how i feel if that's how i feel she be saying shit and then be like i don't know why he act like i'm just doing all friend because you was being shady <laughs> you know what i'm saying if y'all ain't gonna call it damn it i will she was being shady he felt it that's why he getting the response he getting aside from after she dropped her video. Now, after she dropped her video, King, I don't know, Dick. <laughs> I, I have to co-parent with you and your mama. Like, it'd be hard for a nigga like me to be, like, doing all this with you. And it's like, you be trying to bring up all this money and That's what all you was talking about. That's all you was talking about when it comes to his school, his money, this money, this, and this, that, and the third. When I offered, I have the messages, bro. I offered to move his school in the middle and I pay. And if you move it, or even if you was to flip it. He with me for a weekend. He with you for the weekend. I pay for his school. Money is not an issue. Money is not a problem of this situation when it comes to my kids. It's not a problem at all. I would do that as a father. I would do that because I have, that's my responsibility if I need to do that. Like you just let me know two weeks ago that you paying $1,500. Like nobody sent me a cash app request or nothing this, then a third or told me this or told me that. Like you making it seem like, like I just don't be on my shit when it comes to my kid. And I don't like that. To be honest, like I don't mind having my kid with me. Having Kaiser is not the problem. Bringing now, uh, <clears throat> I did get sent a screenshot um, from somewhere about Neek um, saying that, cause uh, not cause, <laughs> fucking King, that she basically told him how much it was, and you know he liked it. But I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. Let me let me let this go through him to daycare because it's not a school my son is four years old and like like this will be understandable and different if he was five years old and he was in kindergarten or like however you want to say it, but he's in daycare i don't mind having my kid with me i don't mind showing him things around or helping him spell or giving him his all right y'all hold on because it's right here in the discord i want y'all to know i i like to just bring the facts especially with um neeks following because you know y'all ride for her and as you should you know what i'm saying i ain't i ain't arguing with y'all as long as you ain't being disrespectful and so far i only had one you know a little disrespectful little heifer but other than that we gucci you know what i'm saying i'm i am one to go back and forth with y'all about whatever it is especially if i'm wrong i will publicly apologize for those that don't know i am quick to apologize about some shit that i'm wrong about so allegedly this is um, Neeks. Hold on. This is Neeks. Why, why is that doing that? Hold on, y'all. One second. Here we go. This is Neeks' response to him saying that he didn't get sent a, a, a cash app. Now, it's real small on this screen, so I'm about to go ahead and read it from over here. <clears throat> she said, uh, oh, okay, bet. Or he said, oh, okay, bet. Uh, Kaiser School Kaiser school closed early today because of weather at four. If I don't make it, can you get him and I come get him? No. Yeah, if I don't make it, can you get him and I come get him? Now, I will say in King's defense, 
you can't tell me last minute if you don't make it, can you go get him? He has the right to say no. No. I, he ain't no telling what he was doing. He's not wrong for that. Why not? You can't pick up. And then it's like, you can't pick up your son. You live five minutes away. Ain't no telling what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? But I had plans already today. I'm busy just as well as you. So Neek wanted him to inconvenience himself because Neek was already trying to say that, hey, listen, bro, I, I, if I'm going to be late, can you? No. I, and if y'all don't understand that, that's two last minute. No. He, he has the right to say no. Um... And so he said, no, what time was it? It was 11.05 a.m. And that's probably to her point. Like, so say, for instance, at 11.05, she's saying, I can't go get him, uh, but it ain't till 4. Can you go get him? First of all, he just found out that he was out of school, or getting out of school early that day, number one. Number two, he could have had reservations for something at 4. He could have had to go do something for his daughter at 4. He could have been doing anything at 4 o'clock. So, no, if it was your responsibility to get him that day, just because you're going to be late, you can't throw that responsibility on me. This is why this baby mama, baby daddy shit be sounding real bitter and bad, y'all, because they try to co-parent and be friends. I learned through my co-parenting situation with, you know, the woman I'm dating, you it ain't no friends with your baby daddy. Now, some people can be friends, don't get me wrong, some people can be friends with their baby daddy and don't have these issues but obviously, it's something there that's allowing y'all to do that. You obviously have respect for one another. Y'all making sure each other is, is, you know, the time is correct. And you're not inconveniencing him. He's not inconveniencing you. That's how you can have a healthy relationship or a healthy co-parentship with the person you're date. Uh, you know, your baby daddy, excuse me, your baby daddy or your baby mama. So anyway, he said he had plans, da, da, da. She said, LOL, okay. So after he said, no, I'm not inconveniencing myself for you, she says, I'm changing Kaiser School uh, for closer to me. Um, and basically, it's $1,400 a month, so I need $700 every month. Now, he did check it. He did the thumbs up sign as if, all right, bet, I'll be able to pay for it. So I don't know why he expected her to send him a cash app. Because you said, <laughs> I'm saying that uh, basically you agreed to paying for it. So it's like, what did you need a cash app for? I want y'all to know that I'm not the one to take sides with anyone because I feel as though it's right, or he's right, or she's right. That's not where I'm coming from. I am just thinking logically, and I don't want no drama, y'all. I didn't want no drama with my woman because she having drama with her baby daddy. 1111 in the chat. Let's let's find a way to have a median for y'all. You get what I'm saying? And they median is his mama. I'm mean, excuse me, her mama, which ain't a good median because she gonna forever take her daughter's side respectfully. So in this situation so far, uh, King don't have to inconvenience himself to pick up his child early because his mama decide that she got something to do all of a sudden. If you can't pick him up at four, baby, I don't know what to tell you because I got shit to do. That's inconveniencing him, and that's just wrong, y'all. He don't have to do that. So also, after he after he say, I'm not inconveniencing myself for you, I got other shit to do, you decide to say, all right, bet, I'm going to change the school then, and I need 700. First of all, she wouldn't have got that 700 from me because, A, I didn't agree to that. It, it, had he not checked, gave the thumbs up like he agreed to it, Nah, we're going to have to have a conversation, gang. Not because I can't pay the 700 You're inconveniencing me. That's the problem. If you would have hit me up at a more reasonable time, that would have been cool. Then you try to turn it like, oh, no, you can't pick up your son. Y'all, that's the problem. And see, a lot of y'all don't want to hear me when I'm saying this, but you ain't got no damn choice if you're watching this video. You don't have to be petty with your baby mama. You don't have to be petty with your baby daddy. But bitterness... Turns into spitefulness, and then it ends up turning into resentment, y'all. You cannot resent each other. Sometimes we can't even have conversations, and I think that's okay. A lot of people co-parent. We co-parent don't have to say a motherfucking word half the time. N at all, because we kind of got a system to where, all right, I don't want to inconvenience you, gang. You don't want to inconvenience me. Bet. You know what I'm saying? So let's not inconvenience one another. 
And let's, you know, go from there. But anyway, let him continue. His leapfrog that he have over here and he sit down and right before we even do this and do that, like, I don't mind all those stuff. Like, I don't mind having my kid. I don't mind paying for his school. I don't mind him being over here for the week instead of the weekend. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for him to be with me and for him to get where he need to be going as an education. Like, I want what's best for him. Like, I want stability for him. You know what I'm saying? For him to know what he got going on and feel comfortable and not so confused and not so... This down the third, to be honest with you, bro, my son really have split personality if I'm really keeping a G with y'all. Like, he really have, like, split personality. My son is one way with me, and when he with his mama, he's a whole different way, which is... Okay, and another thing, King. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Children do that. Children go over their mama house and go play with their mama, and then they come to daddy house and know daddy ain't playing. That's not a split personality. He just know what the hell he doing. That's not even a split personality. He know how to not play with you and play with his mama or not play with his mama and play with you. I don't think that that's a split personality. <laughs> I think that's that's a bit of a stretch on the split personality. It's like, that's hard for him. For even him to go even to daycare, not school, for him to go to daycare and to learn and to pay attention, it's like, that's a lot on him because he, one minute, he don't know who coming through the door to go pick him up. You don't know if I'm going to be with my dad this week or I'm going to be with my mama. So if I'm with my daddy this week, of course I'm going to act like this at school or with daycare. Care, but if I'm with my mama, of course I'm gonna act like this at daycare. So Another thing King gotta stop doing is saying that his child acting a certain way with his mama. That's disrespectful to her. You see what I'm saying? They both disrespecting each other, y'all. Why do you have to say that your child acting a certain way with his mama, right? So he gonna say something about the middle fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and say, y'all, children go to school and they learn things from other children. They come out of the school. And the mama like, how the hell, uh, who told you to stick up your middle finger? Who said that you could do that? Well, uh, Roger's doing it at school. I, that, you ain't Roger. Don't do that at school. But here King go blaming it on Neek. Like Neek like, hey, son, let's stick up our middle finger right now. I ain't never seen Neek in a picture with her son doing this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he can't put that on her. They got to stop disrespecting each other, man. So he's not really like adjusting and learning properly and like she calling me like to be honest and she calling me a baby mama and stuff like honestly bro, like, she never have to come at me about anything when this situation i'm always coming to her always going to her what's best for our kid or what our kid got going on or just that i'm always that's, hitting her up on that note like and that's why she calling you a baby mama i ain't gonna lie she like, nigga, God damn, I just want you to pick up my son. Why we got to talk about this all the time? <laughs> Never on no, no bittersweet shit. Like I'm like, I'm so like this, that, and the third miserable or something. Like, however she trying to portray that shit to y'all and it'd be like, they'd be like, nah, bro. Like, I genuinely be coming to her about our kid and only for our kid. And it's like with her, she do all this stuff like, fuck my, I got hate for her and I hate her. Like, bro, I moved on in my life. Like, I have no hate towards you. My bone on my body going, bones don't even carry that type of weight on that to even hate somebody, dislike somebody, or just be so bitter on somebody. Like, I, bro, like, I got my own life going on. I have kids. I have two. I have a daughter and I have a son. And that's not even talk about the fact is like, when you comparing my kids to this, then I feel like all I'm trying to do is be the best father for both. Like, you, you talking about. Oh, you be talking about like you do one for this and this, that, and the third. What about your firstborn son? Is this like nobody? So that's another form of disrespect from Neek. And the problem is, so y'all said that he's paying for baby gymnastics and he's paying for um daycare for Ocean, right? First of all, the comparisons of what he do for his other child and what he do for that one shouldn't even be an issue. That's number one. Number two, she chose the school, y'all. She chose that $1,500 school. That was her decision. So when you make a decision like that, you can stand on that decision because at, technically I didn't agree to that. Now, you just go and roll him in a school and tell me I need 700 I don't even know what the school is. I don't know what the school likes. She didn't send no, no, uh, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see in that text message any form of like, this is what this school offer or nothing. You just asking me for $700. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of feel him on that also, though, in her defense, her saying that she didn't feel comfortable with that other school. I completely understand that as well. So it's kind of like she was a rock and hard place. She had to do what she had to do. And also, but <laughs> it seemed like from the text message, she's saying she changed the school because his ass wasn't inconveniencing himself for her. And I don't know if y'all listening or not, but all of this sounds petty as shit. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very, very petty. 
You know what I'm saying? And they they giving each other hell for nothing. I think we having time for all that and listening to that because every time I come to her, Not bro, I'm always coming to her about the best for him. Even when it's just even when it's about just anything. Like I come to her about it instead of like being a child because that's what co-parenting is for. Like I'm the one that always sees something that he's catching or picking up on or and I'm like telling her and letting her know like, yo, this is what our kid is doing. This is what just then I'm not teaching him this. I'm not doing this, this, then a third, but I know for, a I know he's doing it on your side. And no, you don't know for a fact that she, you can't say that Kaiser is sticking up his middle finger and you know for a fact that Nick is teaching him that. No, sir, that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to stop disrespecting each other. How the hell are you going to tell her what the hell <laughs> Kaiser is doing at her house and you ain't over there. That's where baby daddies be going a little too far. So baby mamas, I feel like feel as though they can inconvenience their baby daddy and put whatever time they want on him. Hell, both of them do it to each other. How about that? But also that parent shit where you trying to tell the other parent what's going on with the child at their house be wrong as hell too, because ain't no telling what he was learning at that school. What about little Roger and little Ryan at the daycare, King? <laughs> they, they kids teach kids things. They get things from. They pick up shit from everywhere. You can't say Neek teaching teaching him that. That's not right. He's doing this like Kaza can't watch certain things, bro. Kaza learning how to flip middle fingers, this, that, and the third. I'm not teaching my son that. Like I don't think Neek is teaching him end. that. It's like he's not even like. It's her on the other end. He instantly is blaming her for that. That's not right. And unless he's seen that shit, because I can't, I can't say what he didn't see. He might have seen that shit. I don't know. But I just feel as though if he didn't see that shit, he can't just put that on. Listening to you. <clears throat> But when he get over here, he's a whole different child. And it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Because you daddy. Thing, like, it's when a I made difference. my video, bro, like, I wasn't sitting here bashing her. It was the fact is of just saying, the uh, stating the obvious, bro. If you see what's going on and you honestly just really pay attention, bro, and see what I'm saying, like, you can see that shit. With, you can see that shit, bro. I don't, I'm not. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't see that shit. <clears throat> I don't see that shit. I think Nick is a great mom. That's what she shows. Um, Kaiser, he is, um... You know, some babies, they've been here before. Kaiser seemed like he'd been here before. He a little advanced, you know. Um, I feel like Kaiser, you know, and I, I want y'all to know something too because a lot of people like, it's crazy how people think they be knowing what's going on on the internet. We don't know what's going on with y'all. We can only talk about what y'all give us. And don't be mad when we giving you something after your ass done made a video. This ain't my fault. I'll just talk about what I see. You know what I'm saying? So, Kaza just seemed like he is very smart, very advanced. And, um, you know, with mommy, a lot of times little boys get away with things. And with daddy, they, he ain't playing that. But I, I, if you were to say, like, I think Nick just be over there telling Kaza, stick up your middle finger. I just don't, I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? Granted, if King seen that, that's what it is. But we ain't seen that. Or y'all send me something if you seen it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. I can't just say like, yeah, Kaza, um, Neek teaching Kaza to put up his middle finger. I, I, I don't believe that. I'm seeing him bashing. I'm not seeing him making that's it seem bashing. Like me bigger <laughs> than whatever the kids may be. It's like it's a lot of other shit, bro, that I could be talking about that what really goes crazy? on on her end that she be doing and just be bitter about. Like to be honest with you, because she try to make it flip like me, but it's like real life shit. It'd be real life shit, bro. Like you really. Be trying to paint narratives on me and make me feel like this when I really, bro, I moved on with my life. Like, I be on some whole other shit, bro. Like, my mind frame has changed. Like, the person that I was with, the person that I was with you and shit like that. Like, I am not that person. Like, I am evolving into a grown ass that. man. It's like, I don't have these kid games and these child's play because you want to play tick for tack or you want to get under my skin because shit like that has been said before what you be doing and nobody want to do that. They're like, how can you co parent with somebody? I ain't going to cap. Tick for tack is. <laughs> Because honestly, if he wanted to, he could have picked up Kyle. But you got to have that relationship with your baby mama and your baby daddy. Like, listen, on, on this end, <clears throat> see, for me, when I came into the picture, I'm like, okay, y'all, I see why y'all beefing. So I'm the median. Let me just try and help the best way I can because I, I I, can't be on, on her side all the time because I don't know what the hell she put him through. And I definitely can't be on his side because I don't know what the hell he put her through either. But how about this? I don't want to inconvenience you, my nigga. So when I'm too, when I'm late to pick up the child, if if I'm too late, 
I'm going to come to your house and pick up the child because obviously I'm late. Okay, if you're late, I need you to come pick up this child. You get what I'm saying? We're going to take care of them do- during the week. On the weekend, you're going to have to come get them. I ain't dropping them off. I'm already taking care of them during the week. You can come pick them up during the weekend and you can drop them back off. If your ass don't drop them off on time for school, well, guess what? They ain't coming back over. I mean, simple and plain because they can't miss school. See, Kaz is a little baby. When you got these teenagers... Girl, it get worse. I just want y'all to know that. It gets worse, okay? These kids got to be at school. It gets worse with the law. You know what I'm saying? Because the law like, well, what's going on? Why they too late for school? What's going on with the parents? Why y'all ain't, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We not going through that. So I'm going to need you to get them on the weekend if that's what you want to do. I'm not even making you do that shit, bro. If you want to get them on the weekend, you can. If you don't, you don't. I don't give a damn. I ain't got to tell you when school supplies coming. You want to know why y'all the school offer, excuse me, the, uh, the stores offer the school supply list. If y'all go to Walmart, you go to Target, it have each school supply list. I ain't got to tell you when them school supplies come. I ain't got to tell you to buy them shit for Christmas. If you want them for Christmas, you can have them. If you want them for Thanksgiving, you can have them. We don't do that tip for tat shit over here. Where y'all going? Y'all going with your daddy for Thanksgiving? Uh, we don't know yet. We kind of want to come with y'all. All right, bet. Let him know so we don't have that problem. You get what I'm saying? But see, we do have teenagers. So it's a difference with these little babies because Kaiser can't communicate that yet, right? So they got to do it. Unfortunately, somebody going to have to set down some ground rules and agree. And when that person go against the agreeance, that's when y'all can move forward in whatever it is you're trying to do. But my nigga, they really making it hard for themselves. And I'm trying to tell y'all both sides. I'm not on one side. Both of them tripping. Point blank beard. <laughs> and, and like not being dealing with somebody else that's trying to get under your skin or not trying to have li- like, you know what I'm saying? Just be on some bitter shit and just be like, bro, like I don't be having time for that. So let's make this clear. I offered to let Kaiser be on my side, me paying for his school or however you want to go. And I'm going to show the screenshots on that. All right. It's crazy how you take him out of school for a week. For your own convenience, taking him out the country after I said I didn't want you to. Then you decide to forget your responsibilities as his mother. No, 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 King. That's what you want me doing. What That was a shot at her and her motherhood. That's a problem. If she throwing a shot at you and your fatherhood, that's a problem. But you can't tell her how she is or what she's doing as a mother. No, 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 no. Y'all got to stop disrespecting each other. If y'all could read this text message, you would see how they both are just. <laughs> y'all, this shit is ridiculous. All right. Um, Stay for an extra week and send him back. And for me to pick him, for me to pick up your slack. I also agree with that. She should have told him an earlier time. Now, it's going to be a big deal if he misses school, but it wasn't for you to take him out of the country or every other time you ship him off to your mama or go out of state. That's also none of his business as well. If she got him in her time and she want to send him to her mama house, she can. Period. You his mother. And like... King is telling her shit that she already know. That's also a sign of disrespect. I know I'm his mama, nigga, next. I feel like niggas do be talking too much. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> like, you his mother. Uh, I know. You know what I'm saying? That's not needed. Next. You know what I'm saying? You be passing our son around when you don't want to be a woman and stand on your responsibilities. He got to stop telling her she not being a woman and standing on her responsibilities. I just, I don't feel like that's right. If she want to go out of town and, and, and stay for three weeks i'm not gonna lie y'all she can but the thing is with neek send him to his father's house but see she gonna be damned if she do damned if she don't because if she stay out of town for three weeks and he's supposed to get him on that opposite week it's gonna be a problem yeah it's gonna be a problem regardless um if he can't be if he if you can't be a stable home for him and you're gonna keep traveling in and out of the country and that don't so her traveling in and out the country doesn't stop stability that just means they in and out the country like he's not obligated to go to daycare or whatever it is he's talking about he don't have to go to daycare you know what i'm saying and y'all if she paying that 1500 then (laughs) she can have him anytime but anyway um 
traveling out of the country and disregarding an agreement we just had. I do not mind having his school in my area paying and being that stable home for him. I'm not going to keep letting you disrespect me to put me on some act for others. Uh, you keep saying you had him for three weeks. There's been times last year you would leave him with me for three weeks to be in France. Don't forget. Well, King, her ass had him for three weeks in France because you ain't want him to go to France. So I ain't going to lie. That's kind of on you, gang. Like, I don't want him to go to France. I right, bet I'm going to leave him with you because that, that absolutely would have been uh, my response. I'm going to see my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you uh, keep him then since you don't want him to go. So that's a problem. Her traveling in and out of the country with him is a problem. Her traveling in and out of the country without him is a problem. Then he got to tell her how she not being a good mom. And just because she traveling in and out of the country, she not a good mom. I'm not going to lie. That's a lot. And, and respectfully, that sounds like some shit that a baby mama would say. So I completely understand why she's saying that. And um, I get both ends, but they both just going a little too far with each other for me. It's no respect there. No respect. But it's like offered. I <clears throat> so I had to put that like that because it's like I offered. I offered already. And it's like you throwing these rocks and making it seem like this. But it's like for Kaiser, like you done took him out, been gone for a week. It's not a problem for you to do it. But it's like, damn, like when he with me, it's like the whole, the most. You know what I'm saying? When Kaiser with me, bro, when Kaiser is with me, he with me, he with Lena, and he with Ocean. He's not with your mom or your brother picking him up or whoever, whoever, who this, that, and the third. It's so many people when it's like, it's so much going on in his life that he sees, bro. And it just be like. That's his family. You know, I, I feel like King wants a sense of control that he ain't going to get no more. And you find that, like, that happens with baby mamas and baby daddies. Like, he still want to control his family with Neek and Kaiser. And that's not how that works. Cause she got a nigga now. And unfortunately she just got to travel to damn France, Belgium, Germany, and fucking Timbuktu to go see her nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's her nigga. You know, you can't control that situation. So I feel like he trying to control it. He ain't going to get no control. Like crazy shit. And it's like, at the end of the day, like for Kaiser, for him to have a stable home, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously you always gone. You always out of the country. You doing your thing. You doing this, you doing that. She if can. You with me. He with your mama now, back and that's at home. Okay. And yeah, like that's how. Like, come on now, like his mom, his grandma love her grandbaby. She could be like, y'all. This shit be so petty, man. Cause if these kids wanted to go to their grandma house, I promise y'all, T two, bye. <laughs> if 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 uh her mama lived here, you know what I'm saying? Or if we had the money for them to travel like that, like these two do, obviously. Girl, you can go with your grandma. Absolutely. I used to go with my grandma every weekend. You know what I'm saying? Every weekend, I used to go to my grandma's house. Every weekend, my um my stepbrothers and sisters used to go to their grandma's house. That's the only reason why I'm explaining it like that, because it was their grandma, my grandma. I went to my grandma's house. They went to their grandma's house. They could walk to their grandma's house because she lived down the street. I had to be picked up or dropped off. We had no issues. Sometimes my uncle come get me. Sometimes my brother dropped me off. You know what I'm saying? And I don't feel as though, like... Uh, I was split up, you know what I'm saying? At, at, you know, at, growing up, I used to love going to my grandma's house. I used to see my uncles and shit, my other friends, da da da. And then sometimes I'll go to my other grandma's house with my stepbrothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? We was everywhere, and that was okay because our parents needed a break. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I, I don't know. She gonna be that. She don't even sit right. I don't mind having my kid with me. Like if you gone, I even said that once before too. Because if you gotta leave and you gone, let him be with me. He got to go through this person, got to go that person, no. this person dropping him off. If if Kaza, if Kaza, if if Neek want to go out of town for three weeks, she can't let you have him for three weeks. Because guess what? You going to complain about the fact that he, she been gone for three weeks. She ain't going to win in that area. So I see why she feel like, bro, I ain't going to win. You know, and, and, and King is way too concerned so early about Kaza's. I, I guess stability, cause I, this doesn't this doesn't sound like it's not stable to me. That baby traveling is a good experience. 
You know what I'm saying? Especially out of the country. Now, I get his fear on that, but you can't project your fears on your child. You can't do that. Especially when he has another parent, his parent, to take him where he's going. Not only that, you can't complain if Kaz is with his grandma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's complaining about the wrong things. This down the third show is so many people in my son's life. And it's like, uh, when he, he come over here, like I said, like it's me laying up in ocean and we doing what we doing. Did he go on the other side? That's all he see on my, that's all he see when he come to daddy's side. So he think that that's perfect. Like you get to see my girlfriend, your sister and, and daddy. And that's the perfect life. That's what I want my son to live. Well, guess what? When you and Neek decided that y'all wasn't going to do this no more, that changed for Kaiser. So now, Neek has a more um, a more broad spectrum on how she wants her son to be raised. Yes, go to grandma's house sometimes. Shit, I did it. I want you to go to grandma's house sometimes. Um, You know, or come to Belgium Timbuktu with me. You my child. I can take you. Okay. Let me let let me let you stay with your daddy for three weeks. Oh no, I can't do that because your daddy gonna throw it up in my face. You know what I'm saying? Also, Nick is wrong for just, you know, last minute putting King or putting Kaiser, I don't want to say putting Kaiser on King, but picking up that slack that he's talking about. He, she's wrong for that. But the control that, that King think he gonna get, you not. I'm going to tell y'all right now, when a new person step in the picture, because that's what I had to do. I had to nip that control shit in the bud. I, I don't even have to talk to you to do that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's going to have to be respect on my end because I'm handling what I'm handling over here. But I promise y'all, before them kids went out that door, I don't give a damn what you do at your daddy's house. That right there ain't none of my business. But when you come back home, go ahead and pick them rules up that I keep over here right back at the door. You get what I'm saying? You can be loud at your daddy's house and have your phone up and all that. Guess what? When you come through mom and mommy house, that phone got to get cut down. Them AirPods go in, babe. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear TikTok. One, two, three, one, two, three, all day. One, two, three, one. Two. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> cut it off or put your headphones in. That's why I buy AirPods. My point is that is a total different way of living over here and it's a total different way of living over there but i can't judge how her dad is raising raising him i can't judge how they daddy raising him that ain't none of my business and i can't complain that they want to go to their grandma house see king gonna be even more mad when kaza get old and be like daddy can you send me to my grandma house i don't be over here why you don't want to be over here son he don't even understand how kids temperaments change and, I mean, I was blessed to get teenagers early. I ain't going to lie. Instead of, you know, raising them from babies. Um, because they they do. They're night and day. These kids are night and day. They want to go to their grandma's house. They want to get the hell away from you sometime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He not going to win this battle. And at, the end, and at the end of the day, like I said, bro. He going to have to bite the bullet on this process, bro. Like, I have no hatred in my heart against nobody. I only want what's best for my son. I'm not worrying about nothing else. I'm not worrying about no bitter shit, no bullshit, no none of that. Because at the end of the day, bro, like, I know for a fact my kid gonna see this, however the case may be. And it just in general, like, you making this shit flipping and making it seem like I'm just this bad person. Like, bro, I don't have nothing against you. I'm not mad at you. I don't, I wish you the best. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. I'm glad what I'm doing. Like, I got my daughter, I got my son to take care of. And it's like, you know what you did. You did what you did. And it's the way, like, you do it. Like, I know you, son. I. You try to get on camera, prop up, and make it seem like you just so golden child, son. But you really be doing some slick shit behind closed doors and be hitting me with this and this and that. Like, I really got to deal with some shit, bro. I got to be I'm not going to lie. She is not a golden child, but he ain't no better the way he try to tell her how to parent and be a mother. He act, Just like I told y'all, Neek asked for that drama. He asking for this baby mama drama every single day. He do. He's asking for it. The only thing I see Neek doing wrong is inconveniencing his time. And, you know, when she throw her little shade on the Internet, but inconveniencing his time is a big problem. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's really the only huge issue that that he has. But other than that, King can't tell that woman when the, when Kaza can go to his grandma's house or when Kaza can go out of town. And You can't, you can't going to be able to control that. And he'll figure that out. He'll figure that out. 
deal with one of them baby mamas for real. I'm one of them niggas that's really dealing with one of them baby mamas for uh, people to really I think he, like jump down me and feel like I ain't gonna I'm, lie. I think he asking for her to be that baby mama because that the same thing was happening on this end. It's like my nigga, I don't even say nothing to you. <laughs> you know, you wanna, you kind of wanna keep when 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 niggas keep picking and they keep picking. That's when that's when you get that baby mama that you asking for. Now. She didn't have to turn on him and be like, well, since you don't want to pick him up last minute, I'm about to change his school and you got to pay me $700. Absolutely not. Nick, you want to change his school last minute, baby? Go ahead and drop that 14 15 every month. That was your decision, period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, girl, that's a lot. Really they going to keep going like, through this. For real, for real. You know well, what I'm saying? Like, this shit ain't easy. This shit, it's not easy, bro. I've been trying to be the bigger person in this situation. I try to go to the mom to even like, man, all this shit that I'm saying, bro, is no caps. And I even went to the mom and told my true feelings and how I feel about the situation. And yeah, I understand. Or y'all gonna be family and y'all gonna be this, then the third, da, 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 da. But it's like, bro, how can you get past this shit when it's just supposed to be one, two, three about the kid and that's it, bro? That mama gonna turn on you too. Cause you keep complaining about the mama or cars are going to the mama house. She going to flip on your ass, too. You keep playing. Because <laughs> it sounded like you don't want her to be around her grandson. She going to flip on you real soon. <laughs> you really lie. And you say what you said and how you said it, bro. And you know what you're doing, bro. I got miles to feed around here. And you be doing this. You having your fan base come and bash me. Then you be having your fan base bashing my girl for no reason. And it's just so much shit that just be, you be doing since, since like, from... Nah, Lena need to quit talking about Nick. I ain't going to lie. Lena do this to herself as well. Lena always fall for the bait. I mean, you keep falling for the bait, friend. You're going to keep putting you and King in bad situations. Elena is not innocent in this. For two years straight now, bro. And, I don't, and every time I come on this mug and say what I got to say or defend myself or say some real shit that people be acting like they so blind to and they can see that shit, bro. You can see. You can see the cap and the rap and the fake shit. Like, you can just see that shit. And I ain't got time for that, bro. Like, I'm really coming on this mug because all I want is for best for Kyle the stable. The statement is for him and just really bro like move forward bro like i don't i'm not on this bro this shit make me like being in houston for real bro that shit make all that shit make me want to just leave from him like i don't give a fuck like i don't care about having my kid my kid need to be with me for a week or have y'all want to play like i'm gonna be there i'm gonna skip hop dupe whatever the case may be for my son for me to do what i gotta do for him i took i brought him into this world that's my responsibility. I don't ask for help. I don't ask my mama. I don't ask my dad and them just dad and the third or none but nobody because that's not their child. That's my child. I got to stand on that first. I brought him into this. I did what I did and yeah, he's here. So it's like, I don't do that, bro. I'm not a kid. I'm a grown ass man. Like I handle mine. I know I handle mine. I handle mine with two. So my lifestyle is really different. I can't skip and hop and do for somebody else because it's more convenient for them just down there. Like, you got a co-parent, bro. You have to communicate. And I feel like a lot of communication shit don't be going around. And I'm the one that be doing the communicating. If you really take my phone, bro, and go through mess. That's the problem, King. You doing a lot of overly communicating that you don't need to be doing. And, y'all, that's what he not getting. You ain't got to tell me what type of mama I am, nigga. I didn't ask you for that. You feel like Kaz ain't learning? Okay. I disagree. I feel like he is. See, the only median you gonna have with that is when you start coughing up a bag for whatever school that y'all agree on. You don't wanna do that, bet he gonna continue to go to this $1,500 school. Can you pick him up? Mind you, King ain't said nothing about this 28 minutes. I wish he would've said something. <laughs> he ain't said nothing about this 28 minutes. <laughs> but y'all, honestly, he's being petty because he don't want to go pick him up and inconvenience. He don't like the fact that Nick is inconveniencing him. So he's saying he not about to help her in times like that. That's y'all. If y'all don't see the petty shit in this, they both being petty with each other. The communication is not clear. King think he is clearly communicating with her and he's not. He is challenging her as a mother and she ain't feeling that, which makes her be even more petty. So now y'all just being petty with each other. She tired of getting talked to about how, She's not being a good mother. You think you giving her her flowers and what you're doing is killing her. You get what I'm saying? So you getting what you giving. You putting that out there in the universe that she's a bad parent. I right, bet she giving that back to you. Uh, that, that's just it. And that's all. <laughs> this is just whatever From what I see. Because, you know, I ain't in a house. I don't, 
I don't know what the fuck be going on. But from what he talking about, that's what I'm saying. be whoop, 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 and really help listen to our conversation, son, you will really see who the bigger person and who really be on that. I'm trying to provide just for my kid and just be on that type of time with my kid. But shit, nigga don't, nigga don't want to see that. People do all this entertainment and show business with the internet and making it seem like that. Like, man, I don't want to hear nothing about none of that. What I said, what I said. And I know you. I know how you played that situation. And I know how you try to get on this mug and try to make it seem like I'm just a bad person. I'm not. Anybody in general know how I get down. I don't be on the shade room unless you bring me with you to the shade room. I don't be on this bitch like that. So that's what I'm coming in on. I said what I said. I put the messages and whatever. Don't try to play me like that because I know I do for my kid and I know I'm not, I'm really not like pressed, really not pressed on you. So I hope you have your life, do what you do, happy for you. I just want what's best for my kid. That's all it is. That's all it is. And I'm going to do me and you continue doing you. As long as cars are straight, that's all we know. <sighs> my thoughts on the comment. Oh, Lord. Delaney done made a video. Girl. All right. For one, I just want to make this clear. I'm not in these people's household, and I don't know what be going on. But from what they saying, I'm going to just say this. King is being absolutely petty, and Neek is being absolutely petty as well. And it don't work like that. Y'all want to be petty with each other, but trying to figure out why the hell we on the internet, look at what you're doing. Okay? He got to stop disrespecting her as a mother, and she got to stop disrespecting him as a father. And until they decide that they're going to do that, or and somebody take control... It's going to be a mess. King got to realize that Kaza got an extended family and he going to see them. King, uh, Nick is not about to keep her son away from her mama. For what? Her mama ain't harming that baby. She want to see her grandbaby. He got to understand. That's going to happen. Also, King is not going to be able to control nothing. It's not happening. You only control what's going on in your house. You can't control what's going on in Neek's house, on her plane, on her, uh, in Timbuktu with her man, uh, or in Bubba Fuck with her mama. You're going to have to let them, them rock how they rock, and you're going to have to rock how you rock. You know what I'm saying? I know this from experience. I have gone through it, um, and it didn't take long for me to come in and, and make this shit work. Stop disrespecting each other. Stop. <laughs> Y'all got to stop doing that. Come on now. Let's just, let's respect one another. Sir, you ain't going to control shit. I got a new person I'm dealing with. You ain't going to control nothing. She ain't bothering these kids. If anything, she helping. So listen, I, and, and, and I am a quick to cut communication person. All that texting they doing is already too much. Him feeling as though he could tell her what type of mother she is and then saying, I ain't saying that though. Like I'm not disrespecting her, but you are king. And then she comes back and disrespect you. Y'all got to stop the tit for tat or this shit ain't going to work in general. And then y'all going to end up in somebody's court system. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I know that this was long winded, but I've experienced I've experienced this. And I just wanted to, you know, say my piece. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.